Welcome fellow explorers, and this is all about Mars surface. Today's episode isn't just about rocks, it's about messages carved in stone, written by a planet that refuses to die. In the heart of Jezero Crater, perseverance uncovers formations that defy logic, rocks that breathe like memories, minerals that glow with traces of volcanic fire, and veins that whisper of a world once alive with motion. As scientists decode these signals, one truth begins to surface. Mars wasn't always silent. It spoke, once, through heat, through storms, through stone. But the biggest question remains, are these patterns just geology or the fossilized echoes of something more? Stay with us as we uncover Mars' most astonishing revelation yet. Because what Perseverance found could rewrite everything we thought we knew about how planets live and how they die. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the next Martian update. This is all about Mars surface. Mars, a planet where silence has weight, where every rock hides an untold story, and every grain of dust carries whispers from a world that once breathed. In the Jezero Crater, Perseverance rover moved deeper into terrain no human eye had ever seen before. Its sensors, its cameras, all focused on a series of rocks that didn't match anything seen earlier. These weren't just boulders, they were messages written in stone when Perseverance used its SuperCam and Pixel Analyzer. The readings came back, strange. High concentrations of olivine and carbonates, minerals that don't just appear by accident. They form under specific conditions, conditions that hint at energy, heat, and an ancient geological engine still echoing beneath Mars' skin. One particular outcrop, named Cha, showed layered patterns, as if time itself had stacked chapters upon chapters of Martian history. Each layer, a different age, a different era of storms, quakes, and cosmic silence. Through Perseverance's Mastcam Z, Scientists noticed tiny shimmering grains embedded in the rock face. Microscopic, yet unusual. These weren't like the typical Martian dust particles. They were more crystalline, more structured, like fragments of something that had once cooled from intense heat. A mystery, born of fire, not of water. Back on Earth, Scientists compared these readings with samples from Earth's oldest volcanic sites and found uncanny similarities. Could Mars have once had volcanic systems as complex and long-lived as our own planet? The evidence now points to yes. The rocks Perseverance analyzed in Jezero's Delta region carry what geologists call shock veins, lines formed under massive pressure. This means one thing. Mars wasn't just quietly eroding, it was reshaping itself from within. These veins, these fractures, may hold clues to how the planet cooled, cracked, and transformed into the desert world we see today. Every scan, every pixel, every dust grain Perseverance studies brings us closer to a single realization. Mars is not a dead world, it's a frozen story, still unfolding. Soon, these discoveries will lead to the next stage, the sample return mission. The very rocks Perseverance drilled, sealed, and stored will one day travel back across millions of miles to Earth, and inside them may lie the truth about how planets evolve and perhaps how life begins. As the Martian dust began to settle once more, Perseverance turned its gaze toward the edge of Jezero Crater, a new region named Kukor Ridge by scientists. At first glance, it looked ordinary, but in the data, something was different. The rover's Rimfax radar revealed strange formations beneath the ground, not artificial, but natural. Layers of rock intertwined within one another, as if the planet had folded and locked its own skin in time. 
These weren't just stones. They were layers of history, time trapped in rock. The density of these layers astonished the scientists. These were signs that could only form under extreme pressure, explosions, or internal quakes. Meaning, Mars was once alive with motion. When samples were extracted from the ridge, they revealed traces of magnetite and hematite, minerals capable of preserving a planet's magnetic memory. From them, scientists learned that Mars once had a strong magnetic field, a living, dynamic system, now long silent. Each layer of Kukor Ridge tells a new story of explosions, pressure, and transformation. But among those layers, some circular imprints appeared, perfectly shaped, too precise to be random. A question arose, were these gas bubbles, volcanic vesicles, or the fossilized remains of some ancient process? JPL scientists called them the breathing rock because under the microscope, their texture resembled living cells. Not alive, but remnants of a reactive past, traces of something that once changed, cooled, and solidified. Meanwhile, the Ingenuity helicopter flew overhead, capturing aerial images, and confirmed something extraordinary. These rocks were connected, part of one continuous network, stretching silently beneath the Martian surface, like ancient veins running through a frozen body. Perhaps these were the last heartbeats that once echoed deep within Mars, or maybe the first bones of a newborn world, preserved beneath dust for billions of years. The rocks here reveal visible layers, some perfectly smooth, others razor sharp. There's a rhythm within them, as if some unseen force sculpted them to a silent tune. Scientists call it a geological symphony, where the structure, the angles, and the colors of the rocks together narrate how Mars endured the storms of evolution within itself. Drone shot moves across ridges. Some rocks have a basaltic composition, meaning they were born from extreme heat. These rocks are dense, heavy, and rich in metals. They stand as evidence of Mars' fiery past. While others are soft, their surface finely granular, their mineral grains delicately fused together. These are the rocks shaped by external forces of Mars. When perseverance and curiosity examine the new Martian rock formations, astonishing results emerged. These newly discovered rocks are unique in composition. They contain microcrystalline patterns, revealing that Mars' surface remains chemically active. Some rocks contain oxidized compounds, the very reason behind Mars' famous reddish hue. But this color hides a secret. It symbolizes the slow, ongoing chemical transformations happening across Martian time. Magnified imagery, rough metallic sheen inside a broken rock. From these mineral traces, scientists concluded that Mars' inner crust still holds reservoirs of energy, the same energy that once heated rocks to the edge of fusion. NASA's robotic explorers have uncovered rocks unlike anything ever seen before. These stones have entirely distinct structures, razor-like edges at their corners, and unusual crystalline veins across their surfaces. Scientists believe these rocks may have risen from Mars's oldest geological layer, samples that have lain silent yet preserved for billions of years. Camera close-up on dark boulder with shiny reflection. Some of these rocks are magnetically active. When the rover's instruments approached them, a subtle magnetic pulse was detected. This is an astonishing revelation. It means Mars still carries traces of its ancient inner energy.